In part one, we are going to be looking at two possibilities. The first one is when P is given to us as 7. So when P is equal to 7, that means U1, which is equal to P, is 7. Making use of this equation over here, letting N be 1, we will be able to get U2. And U2 will be 2U1 minus 5. So it is going to be 2 times of 7 minus 5. This gets us a 9. And for U3, it's going to be 2U2 minus 5. So this is 2U2, U2 is 9 minus 5. And this is going to get us a 13. Then maybe let's go for one more. So this will be 2U3 minus 5. This is 2 times of u3, which is 13 minus 5, and this is equal to 21. Um, the most obvious pattern that I can see here is that we have a sequence that is increasing. I don't think we need to go too in-depth into analyzing this sequence because uh, at a glance, I cannot really see any other pattern. Furthermore, this is a one-mark question. So therefore, I will just simply say that this sequence is increasing. We have another scenario to analyze. It is also going to be one mark. The second scenario to analyze is when P is equal to 5, which means that U1 is going to be equal to 5. So if I make use of this again, we will be able to deduce U2. U2 is going to be 2 times of U1 minus 5. So this is going to be 2 times 5 minus 5. And this is equal to 5. Let's try U3. U3 is going to be 2 times U2 minus 5. Goodness, it is going to become a 5 again. So times 5 minus 5, this will be 5. Let's try one last one, which I'm pretty sure is going to be 5. But let's go for U4 anyway, since in the previous case, we went for U4. So this will be 2 times 5 minus 5 again. This is equal to 5. So we have a sequence with all the terms 5 and in part 2 we will need u5 u1 is given to me as p so I can make use of this equation to find u2 u2 is going to be 2 of u1 minus 5 it will be 2p minus 5 and u2 will help me to find u3 because u3 is 2u2 minus 5 so it's going to be 2 of 2p minus 5 minus 5 and u3 here is equal to 4p minus 15 and this will help us to find u4 u4 is going to be 2u3 minus 5 so it's going to be 2u3 is 4p minus 15 minus 5 Five. So we are going to be getting a 8p minus away 35. This is u4. And now we will be able to get u5, which is 2u4 minus 5. So this is going to be 2u4 is 8p minus 35 minus 5. And this will get us a 16p minus 75. And according to the question, this is equal to... 1, 0, 1. And this will help us to solve for P. P is going to be equal to 1, 0, 1 plus 75 divided by 16. And P is going to be equal to 11. For us to find the value of B, we are going to try make use of the relationship V4 is equal to 2V3. So let's first find V3, then we find V4, and we are going to substitute the two expressions into the equation that is given. And through that, let's hope that we can find B. To find V3, we are going to be letting n be equal to 1. By letting n be equal to 1, we have a V3. This is going to be equal to V1 plus 2 of V and 1 plus 1, so V2 minus 7. And V1 was given to us as A plus 2, V2 is B. So this minus 7. So this is our expression for V3. And if I were to let N be equal to 2, you will be able to find V4. 
When n is equal to 2, this is going to be v2 plus 2 v4 is equal to v2 plus 2 v2 plus 1, 3 minus 7, which is equal to v2 is v plus 2 v3, v3 is this. So a plus 2b minus 7, then minus 7. So v4 here is equal to 2a plus 5b minus 21. And we're going to make use of the relationship that is given, which is v4 is equal to 2v3, which means that v4, 2a plus 5b minus 21 is going to be 2 times of v3 which is this so 2 times of a plus 2b minus 7 so this is 2a plus 5b minus 21 this is equal to 2a plus 4b minus 14 2a 2a it can be they can be cancelled so i will be left with a b which is equal to 7 and here we are supposed to find v5 and to get an expression for v5, we will let n be equal to 3. By letting n be equal to 3, on the left-hand side, we will have a v3 plus 2, v5, which is going to be equal to vn, and is 3, so v3 plus 2, v3 plus 1, 4, minus 7. And v3 is this a plus 2b minus 7 plus 2 times of v4, which is this. So it is this 2a plus 5b minus 21, then minus 7. And it is going to be simplified to 5a plus 12b minus 56. And from the previous part, we have found b to be 7. So this is 5a plus 12, 7 minus 56 so v5 in terms of a will be 5a plus 28 we're given that the sum of the first n term is n cubed minus 11 n squared plus 4 n and we want to find the nth term of the series and that can be found by taking s n minus s n minus 1 and it will be n cubed minus 11 n squared plus 4n minus n is going to be replaced by n minus 1. So minus n minus 1 cubed minus 11 n minus 1 square plus 4 times of n minus 1. So this will be n cubed minus 11 n square plus 4n minus expanding this it is n cubed minus 3n square plus 3n plus 1, a binomial expansion. And in fact, I have memorized the binomial expansion for um, the two terms to the power of 3. Minus 11, and this expanding it, it is going to be n squared minus 2n plus 1. So plus 4n minus 4. So we will have a n cubed minus 11n squared plus 4n minus, simplifying this, it is going to be equal to n cubed minus 14n squared plus 29n minus 16. Simplifying this further, we will have a 3n squared minus 25n plus 16. In this part, we need two sums, the sum of the first m term and the sum of the first three terms. So for the sum of the first m terms, it is going to be m to the power of 3 minus 11 m square plus 4 m. And the sum of the first three terms as 3 will be 3 to the power of 3 minus 11 times 3 square plus 4 times of 3. And as 3 here is going to be equal to minus 60. And according to the question, the sum of the first m terms is equal to the sum of the first three terms. So m cubed minus 11 m squared plus 4m is equal to minus 60. And I'm going to bring everything over to the left hand side. 
So plus 4m plus 60, this is equal to 0. And making use of my calculator, I will be getting three possible values for m. m is equal to minus 2, and this is not applicable. We cannot sum to the minus 2 number of terms, so m cannot be equal to this. And another possibility is when m is equal to 3, but according to what the question says, this is also not going to be applicable because the question says that m is a number that is bigger than 3. So that leaves us with our last choice. So m is equal to 10.